Hello everyone. So today we're talking algebra, kind of pre-algebra, patterns and expressions. Well, what are patterns and expressions? Expressions are numbers, symbols, and operations grouped together that show a value. Okay. So an expression um, will have a final value. You have to do the operation. You have to use the numbers and the symbols. Okay? Patterns, numbers that follow a certain rule. Okay, so a pattern is going to be consistent. It might, you know, a pattern of counting by three, zero, three, six, nine, twelve. That's a pattern. It's, you, it's a certain rule. There's consistency. So, evaluate each expression. Use n equals four and n equals six. So these are expressions. Okay, well, what does that mean? If n plus five, n is four, four plus five is nine. N plus 5, N is 6. Okay, what's 6 plus 5? 6 plus 5 is 11. Okay. 24 divided by N. 24 is, N is 4. Okay, 24 divided by 4? 6. What's 24 divided by 6? Ah, that would be 4. Okay, and so this is where N equals 6, N equals 4. These columns here. N times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. 6 times 5 is 30. N minus 5. N minus 4 is 11. N minus 6 is 9. So that is, this is a great example of just evaluating expressions, okay? You have to, you have to substitute the number for the variable. Okay? So if N is 4 or N is 6, you just substitute it in. All right. Now, check this out. This is a pretty frequent um, frequent type of question on star tests and, and definitely what the lesson's about. Here it gives us a list of values, a list of the value for n. n is our variable. And a variable, we have to remember, a variable is a letter that represents a number, and that number can change. Okay. So when n is 0, what is this? Okay. 3 plus 0. Oh, that's 3. Well, n is 5, okay, well, what's 3 plus 5? That's 8. 3 plus 10 is 13. 3 plus 15 would be 18. And here, look, n is 0, 5, 10, 15, 12. okay, same thing. n times 3, or 3 times n is 0, okay, 0, 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 10, 30. 3 times 15 is 45. Just like think about uh, a clock. 3 times 15, well, that's 45 minutes. 15 times 4 is 60 minutes. So that's 15. I always think about clocks. All right, last page. Last page. Okay, so now subtraction and division. Again, we have a list of variables. That this is our values for n. And so each row... We're going to substitute a different value for n. And this is our formula. This is our pattern. This is our rule for the entire table. 30 minus 0, 30. 30 divided by 1 is 30. Okay? So 30 minus 5 is 25. 30 divided by 2 is 15. Okay? 30 minus 10 is 20. Uh, 20, not 10. 30 minus 10 is 20. 30 divided by 3. Well, 3 times 10 is 30. And then 30 minus 15. Oh, that'd be 15. And then 30 divided by 5. 5 times 6 is 30. So 30 divided by 5 would be 6. Pretty cool. You just look at the formula and then substitute your value for the variable. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Uh, watch, watch again if you need. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help you.